For dealing with armed assailants, the police are turning to another technology. Put your hands in the air! Here at Pepper Ball Technologies Incorporated in San Diego, they produce a weapon which can disable people using pepper. Pepper works by attacking the mucous membranes in the throat, nose and eyes, causing discomfort and confusion. It's long been used in the form of a spray, but the problem with pepper spray is that you have to get close to the suspect. The answer is specially developed pepper balls. These are filled with parva, an extremely hot pepper derivative. It's the molecules called capsaicin in peppers that give them their heat, and parva is made from capsaicin too, the hottest of all. This is produced chemically to ensure it's consistent. The next problem is creating the outer shell. It has to, uh, upon launch, accelerate very quickly, up to 300 feet per second, without breaking, but then when it strikes somebody, it has to burst upon impact. And that's the tricky bit. As part of their training with these weapons, every officer has to experience being shot with the pepper balls. As well as the purple rounds, green rounds are filled with a special type of dye. It's for marking particularly violent or uncooperative uh, suspects during a riot. And this way law enforcement can round them up uh, later. So how do these pepper balls work in practice? Hey, pal, come on, what's the problem here? Hey, cops! The highly accurate pepper ball gun allows police to tackle a violent criminal from a safe distance. Put it down! Because the capsaicin 2 is the same as that found in nature, it can be metabolized by the body, so it doesn't do any permanent damage.